the Lord and ruler will be coming soon and his name will be called Emmanuel because he will be God with us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We continue to offer our minds for the intentions of our family, the intentions of our parents, and those in need of healing, especially those who are afflicted with COVID, and for the intentions of the BBC families. The intentions of Mr. Bolson, Mary Agatha, Ida Prada, and for the eternal repose of Jimmy Rocker. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, our failures, our weaknesses, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the conquered of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. From the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks. He says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past. The rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, and the time of pruning the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Exult, ye just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Exult, Exult ye just, just in the Lord. Lord. Sing to him Sing a new, to song. new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exult, Exult ye just in the Lord. Lord. Sing to him a new song. song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exalt to be just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. 
Exalt with just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. O Emmanuel, our King and Giver of law, come to save us, Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste, the town of Galilee, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant left in her womb. Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your breathing reached my ears, the infant in my womb left for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. We are now closer to our celebration of Christmas. Are you happy? Are you excited? We are celebrating Christmas, the birth of our Lord, and one of the, the first gift, the first gift, I think, that the physical presence, the physical presence of the birth of the Lord, the first gift of the physical presence, the entire salvation history, the entire coming of the Lord, the gift is celebration. That is the greatest gift. The birth of our Savior for our salvation. But I'm, I'm reflecting on the, the physical baby. The first gift of the physical baby in the gospel today. Elizabeth, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant, in, the infant left in her womb. And she said, how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb left for joy. So it was the first gift of Christ coming, physical coming into our lives, is joy. Joy. Be joyful. Be happy. Amen. Amen. So this is our 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 invitation also, our challenge in our daily lives. When we receive Christ, when we have Christ, we must be agents and bringers and uh, representatives of that joy that the Lord has given us. Here in our gospel, Mary, yesterday's gospel, is the annunciation. And right after the annunciation, the visitation. Because the joy of God, of, of Mary, having God prepared her to be the mother of the Messiah of the Lord, Hearing the angel Gabriel that your cousin Elizabeth, at her old age, conceived a son, for nothing is impossible with God. 
hearing that after saying, okay, I will do it. Okay, I will do it. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And then she said and traveled to the hill country in haste. In haste. So Mary also having that joy, having that um, being gifted, being blessed, set out to give joy. And here, the, the joy in Elizabeth is also for us. So we go back to the first part of the gospel. What it is, or what is it today that is important, that is urgent, that we need to do? Like Mary, hearing Elizabeth conceive a child in her old age, set out hard work. What it is in our daily day lives, personal lives? What is it that we really need to do today? Urgent and important so that we do it in haste, like Mary. As I continue to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Emmanuel, God with us. We must have that urgency in our hearts to do the right thing, to forgive, to love, to serve. That is urgent, and especially to give joy. That everywhere we are, we share the joy of the Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for the goodness you have received, the one we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands, it can become for us our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. May our praise and glory be His name for our good and for the good of all of His children. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him. With love we have all tell him. Then the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so the angels and our angels. Your thrones and dominions, 
and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May I call you there from these gifts of prayer, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chance, and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray without partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jaime our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called years to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
We will be always. Lamb of God, we thank you for the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we thank you for the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we thank you for the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes over the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Glory and not worthy to enter into my room, but I'm saying the word, and my soul is shall be healed. Let us pray the act of spiritual communion for those who are with us in their homes. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
blessed are you who have believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty in the dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mouth is offered, let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. And bring joy to others. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for joining my mass today and for reading. And Mary Frank for coming and Silver. Thank you for all those who are with us online in our mass today. Have a blessed day to all of us. Thank you, Father.